I am Hereditary Chief Phil Lane Jr., the Hongtongwa and Chickasaw Nations, Turtle Island, Abayala. This time we're in of the coronavirus is a time that we can hear on one hand the death pangs, the death cries of an old dying order, dying away, dying away. On the same time, we can hear, we listen carefully, the birth cries of the new being born. And while outwardly this might seem like fire and vengeance, inwardly we'll find as we look back in the future, this is purifying water to purify our hearts and minds, to bring us to a state of humility, we can truly listen to what is happening. And so I think it's so important in understanding that all these prophecies that were given to the indigenous people across the Americas, which also fit so beautifully together with prophecies all over the world, tell us that yes, there is a new heaven and a new earth coming. It is here, actually, if we could see it, that each one of us was born for this day. Each one of us has within us those potentialities, those capabilities, those gifts that have shared in unity and respect and kindness and compassion will transform the world we live in. And once we have that peace within ourselves, then we can bring peace around us. And from that peace comes healing. From that healing comes prosperity. From that prosperity comes more understanding of oneness and kindness and compassion and love. But to understand oneness also means to understand we're related to all living things. That's the fundamental foundation of the indigenous worldview, even to the point where now science is proving what Black Elk said so beautifully, the center of the universe is everywhere, everywhere. That means we're intimately related. As long as 50% of the world's population is being oppressed and not allowed to express their full potentiality, there will not be solutions, not only to, to the climate issue, but to world peace. Because it's directly the way we treat women as a human family is a direct reflection of how we're treating Mother Earth. The eagle has two wings, one is man and one is woman. Until both wings of the eagle have equal power and respect and honor, the eagle of humanity will never fly its highest to its promise. Tied to that is the lack of importance we're giving to the education of children. Really, if you think about it, if we want to change this whole context, we have to provide universal education to all members of our human family. May we focus on all those wonderful potentialities we see unfolding for the future without giving away our energy fighting the negative. For in this process of integration and disintegration, there is disintegration unfolding everywhere. At the same time, we can choose to be part of that disintegration or to be part of the integration. And I really want to encourage us that we step forward into that day that shall not be followed by night. And utilizing the guiding principles given to us, the heart of our indigenous cultures everywhere on Mother Earth, for we all are indigenous peoples of Mother Earth.